who was the father of Odia films? The answer is Mohan Sundardev Goswami, a man of many talents. From poet, singer and dramatist to comic actor and director, Goswami's influence on Indian culture in the 20th century was profound. Born in Puri on the 8th of August, 1892, as the youngest son of Harish Chandra Dev Goswami and Sulakana Devi, Mohan Sundar Dev Goswami grew up in a family that cherished the arts. The Goswamis resided in Marichikot Gali Puri, a place that would later become the cradle of Odia film industry. Before he even dipped his toes in the world of cinema, Goswami was already a major promoter of Utkaliya Rahas, the traditional dance drama of Odisha. Known as Mohan Goseyeku across the villages of Odisha, he propagated the ordinance language, literature and art culture through this ancient art form. His sweet voice and poetic prowess brought to life the songs of Radha Krishna, captivating audiences far and wide. Goswami also formed a traveling race team, emulating Gobind Chandra Shodeo of the Tiwa royal family, who had propagated the rasa before him. His rasadam became famous throughout Odisha, using modern and traditional compositions written by ancient poets. Goswami's rasa performances with their simple language, beautiful presentation style and selective application of traditional music became a favorite among the people of Odisha. In addition to his work in the arts, Goswami was also a preacher of Nityananda Chaitanya's Sivalila and Kirana. Although he resided in Puri, he had many hosts in both the states of Odisha and Bengal. Goswami's versatility was not limited to his poetry and drama. He was a skilled musician, known for his Sumadura voice and his ability to play various musical instruments. An expert in singing Odissi music, he recorded various ancient Odissi songs on his gramophone records. Most of these songs were Odissi music compositions by old poets like Gopala Krishna, Gaucharan and Banamali, and were broadcasted from Calcutta by many bars. But perhaps Goswami's most notable contribution to Indian culture was his role in the creation of the first Odia film, Sita Vibhithu. Not only did he produce and direct the film, but he also acted in it, playing the role of Vishwamitra. He even composed 12 out of the 14 songs in the film. Despite the accusations, the legacy of Mohan Sundar Dev Goswami as the father of Odia films is undeniable. His contributions to Indian cinema, music and literature continue to inspire artists and audiences alike. His name will forever be remembered as a pioneer, a cultural icon and a beacon of Odia art and culture.